Whoa, more stuff going on here, too. People love this. I love this. It's playoff hockey, and everything's on the line here. Series, that, guys, is the word outside the Vancouver room while Salo is out. All right, well, we, we got word of the flu-like symptoms, and I guess the flu can cause aching in the joints. And He started to bust stop laughing. He went, yeah, that's one for you. That's good. He was good, though. Here's Dowd centering pass. Goes off a skate in the crease, and now it's covered up by Cloutier. Yarko Rutu, number 37 black. I didn't see him do anything, but for whatever reason, he ended up with a roughing call. Maybe they got the wrong guy the way he was arguing, but it doesn't matter. It's still a man down for Vancouver. It's to talk to people, and it's not always possible, but Benny, Benny Morrell was there to talk to you. Gabbert sets it up for Wall, three by ten, Grenetti scores! Well, Gabbert looks like he's okay. We showed you the, the hit on the side of the head he took last game. He also had the flu and was vomiting before game five. So obviously didn't have very much strength, but it looks like he's skating pretty well tonight. Rolson hangs on, and part of the energy is showing up in the physical part of the game. There has been more of it here in the second from both sides. The Wild with a 1-0 lead. 15 seconds remaining in the man advantage. Pass to the front. Clint here the save. He had to take a look behind. Centering pass didn't get through. Here's Gabbert with it. Back to the line. Sakura drives the shot. Score! They played a heck of a first period, were all over Minnesota, came out of it, and, and didn't have anything to show for it. Now Minnesota, with fewer chances, is really starting to come on, and they're up two zip. Pressure's on Van big time. Oh, collision big in the crease. collision in the crease. The goaltender, Cloutier, is down. There's a Minnesota player in the corner. Is that Hendrickson? Or Dowd, I can't see. The I think it's there. Jimmy Dowd. Jimmy Dowd coming in off the wing. You'll see Dowd come in at the last second. He gets pushed by Murray Barron, 23 black. But he said they'll need the energy later on in the playoffs, and he was right. Pass across. What time is gone? Jovanovski in deep. Brendan Morrison hands it off. Marcus Naslin. Naslin top of the circles. That's a redirected score. Jovanovski. Jovanovski had six goals during the regular season. He is one better. Pass to the front. Locks it and scores! And he laps it and makes it 4-1. There's a look at Andre Zuzan. He's the one that was the recipient of the elbow from the Arco Rutu. And he's obviously in difficulty because of it. 20 white. And he gets to the top of your screen. He gets finished into the boards. That could have been anything. It could have been the elbow. It might have been the way he went into the back of the boards. He's in difficulty. That's the bottom line. Wild with a three-goal advantage of steal. Running. Just had a poke away. Score! Uh, I'm not sure that character was one of the guys in line waiting for tickets for this uh, game six after the game four loss when Tom Bertuzzi said forget it there won't be a game six but he's hearing it now <laughs> they couldn't wait for him to come back here and yeah when you make a statement like that it will come back to haunt you they are in his face and in his ears right now and he'll be injecting that passion and emotion again next game because right now he does have to think about conserving some energy for some of his guys yeah it's over four minutes left in this one. Clap going after Brad Brown. Clap does, does not have a stick. He's going to go back and get it now. Brown with a hit on Daniel Sedin. Shuts him to the ice. Still the play along the boards. Daniel Sedin can't get anywhere with it. This is just fine with the Minnesota Wild. The puck stays over there. They've got the advantage. Balls knocks it away. Game 7 tomorrow, ESPN 2, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. Gary Thorne and Brian will have the call. I'll be ringside. And that penalty here against Naslin. He took Willie Mitchell down, I believe. Yeah, and he took, if you remember when things were falling apart the other day, Marcus Naslin took a couple of untimely penalties either. If they were going to get any momentum going, he has taken it away here. Todd Bertuzzi more than a little bit frustrated. A couple of shots thrown through traffic. Oh, and they still haven't let up. Brendan Morrison. Brendan Morrison gets in there and throws a couple of gloves in the way. 
It's, uh, it's posturing. It's posturing for next game. Absolutely. And it, it's also a result of game six. You know, you know everybody personally by this point. You know everybody on the other team personally. That's the bad penalty I was talking about. There's, there's no reason for Nashville to take that. There's Jeremy Stevenson in the face, and he actually got a pretty good pop in, too. Todd Bertuzzi on your left with the beard, pushing back. It comes now to Bertuzzi, hearing the booze again. Bertuzzi behind the net, takes a look, leaves it there now for Murray Barron. Naslin and Stevenson come out of their respective boxes. Cloutier going to the bench. And that's because the penalty was upcoming. And a late hit there on Brutu. He's been the guy that has been under the skin of, or trying to be under the skin of the Wild, and now Brutu right up face to face with a player on the Minnesota bench. Oh, yeah. Yarko Brutu has been called an Esatikinen kind of player. He'll get in your face, he'll yap at you, he'll throw an elbow, he'll come back and get in your face another time. Look at him, he's all alone. He's circling in front of the Minnesota bench. Yeah, I know we're losing 5-1, I don't care. We're still gonna beat you tomorrow. You need guys like that. He's got to be easier to understand the Tiki. Yeah, that's true. Tiki <laughs> speak was a little bit more difficult to understand. I think he can uh, he can say it better. But that's the Tiki was the best at it. Whatever he was saying, he did a good job at it. Look at him. Look at him there. He just gets right in the face while everybody else is in the middle of the ice. You think he was asking him what he had for dinner if he went to the movies the other day? But I can tell you what, he wasn't. Big smile on the face. This is a very dangerous wild team, and Marcus Nathan's guys got to get it together. 5-1, the final score. The Wild win it.